When I told people I was doing a talk about Sporty Kid and Gamer Kid, a guide to connect and not judge or reject, people wanted the information and they wanted it now. My name is Coach Steve and I've been a coach for 20 years, coaching kids on how to kick, catch, or pass a ball. But today I'm going to enlighten you into the mindset of the Sporty Kid and the Gamer Kid so you can have the clarity for the confidence they deserve. Now let's get into it. Put down the controller. All you ever do is play video games all day and all night. Come on, run quicker, be better. You're better than this. Now, does that sound a bit familiar? I hope not too familiar because I truly believe parents have great intention, but sometimes their delivery just sucks. You know, and we grew up at a time when, you know, Sports was a lot more simple. There was no gold team here. There was no silver team here. This high league team here. It was basically sports after school. And when it came to video games, Pong, Tron, and Donkey Kong ruled the gaming world. So today I ask, why do we put our kids in sports? Is it so that they can become the next professional athlete? It would be nice but probably not. Isn't it just to gain some confidence, meet some new friends? And why do we put our kids in technology, into gaming? Is it to become the next Elon Musk? That would be nice as well, but most likely not. Wasn't it just to learn something new, get some knowledge and play with some friends as well? Absolutely. You know, as a football coach and a soccer coach, I get a lot of parents coming up to me talking about anxiety and depression. And I must admit, my daughter went through bouts of anxiety when she was younger that lasted for days and it felt like months. And my son also went through bouts of depression because when we moved from one city to the other city, he lost some friends. I will say to this day now, now in their teenage years, they've been able to get the clarity that they needed so they could have the confidence to get through those tough situations. A few months ago, my son was able to talk to a professional gamer an actual pro gamer. He was enthralled. This gamer talked to him about the commitment stage in gaming. He explained to my son that, you know, playing with your friends online is actually not training. When you're actually training towards a game, uh, when you're learning and you're playing with others, it's generally taking you hours and days to learn a specific tactic, to learn a specific move that you can use in an esports tournament to win thousands of dollars. My kid was just amazed. He did not know it took that much commitment. And when it comes to soccer, our kids were able to get in front of some of the best coaches in our city who not only helped them with their physical side of their game, but with their mental side, which really helped with the confidence that they needed. Now, why am I here? My story goes, I was picked last at recess. And I know everybody here has a story that they were either teased or bullied when they were younger and they wanted to quit. And I stand up on this stage today to tell you not to quit and not to quit on your team, on your kids. There's so many choices out there for parents to put their kids in specific sports and specific games. But what are they? How do we know what to give them to information that they need to get the clarity that they need? When we think about sports, there's a lot of sports out there that are causing a lot of concussions and a lot of sports that are not helping with the advancement of the child. And when we're talking about video games, there's a lot of games out there that are actually affecting the kids for hours on end and causing mental challenges for these kids and mental issues that are just not stopping at one level. They're going to the next level and the next level. So what, do we, what can we do as parents to help these kids? My first thought for you guys is to find some solutions. And I'm going to say it in a way that hopefully makes sense in stages. And the first stage I want to talk about is the sampling stage. Now, this is supposed to be the most fun stage for the kids because it happens when they're six and under. And generally, it's a sampling stage of a sport that the parent once played or wants or wanted to play. And so now these kids get to play this sport and have fun and not worry about being judged so much. And here's a tip. In this stage, 
let your kids play ball in the house. I know a lot of people don't want their kids to play ball in the house, but when they're six and under, you're pretty safe. Uh, just make sure that you put away anything that's breakable. And in our house, second tip, just don't break it in front of mom. Another thing I'd like to recommend when it comes to the gaming side, someone asked me, well, is it okay for my kid to game three or four hours straight? And I said to them, well, do you think it's right if a kid played soccer for three or four hours straight? Mm, probably not. So in that sampling stage, just make sure they're having fun because it leads immediately to the second stage, which is about seven to 11 years old, and it's called the specialization stage. And at this stage, this is where the parents are on the sidelines going, ooh, my kid's pretty good. And the kid's thinking, hey, I'm really good at this. And you start going, oh, as a parent, you start talking on the sidelines. But be real careful about the talk on the sidelines because if you think the water cooler talk is bad at work, the talk on the sidelines can bring down a team faster than a wink of an eye. So a tip for you is that if you want your kid to truly enjoy being on the field, when he's out there or she's out there, don't start yelling at them. Just encourage them and enjoy being there. And the second tip is, after a big loss or a big win after a game, don't talk about the game. Just let it go for a little while. Just let them know that you love them and you were so very proud of watching them because kids won't always remember what you said, but they will remember how you made them feel. And when you get to a situation with gaming at this stage, this is where kids start to learn technology actually quicker than we can. <laughs> so what I find is that at this stage to stop sort of the rage moments, if they're playing a video game and they're getting all upset and they're getting all worked up, come sit down next to them. Sit down next to them, pull up a chair and start asking them questions and be engaged because that's really what they want. They want someone there they can share that experience with. And now to the final stage, the commitment stage. And then, yes, this is about when you're 12 to 18 years old. In this stage, you're starting to really know if you're good at a sport or good at a video game. And throughout these stages, at this stage, there are plenty of options for tournaments, for sport tournaments and e-sport tournaments, which generally dents the pocketbook of your parents or the guardians. And coincidentally, the biggest time where kids actually drop from sports. So here's a tip. During this time, give your kids a schedule something that they can follow. All the great athletes and esports athletes out there have a schedule that they follow. And be sure they understand the difference from gaming and just playing around to actually training for something. So they have something that they can really buckle down and look forward to and go after. And as parents, we know at this age also that they are going to want to get a job eventually, or they want to go to school and maybe play that sport at their school. So I recommend go to a tech company in your city and set up a tour so that your kid can go to that company and see what it would be like to work there. And the same thing for a school. If your kid is really looking to play a sport at a school, take them to that school and show them around the area. Show them the school inside, outside, and help them get excited about that. So there you have it. The three stages in a sporty kid and a gamer kid's life. It's first stage, the sampling stage. Second, specialization. And third, the commitment stage. Thank you very much. And please remember, sporty kid and gamer kid, Guide to connect, not judge or reject.